This is a 13 inch jet model planer that I got used and it's been giving me a lot of snipe at the end of a board. So I wanted to see what is it that's causing the snipe. I tried adjusting the rollers and that didn't help at all. They still get the same snipe. Now I understand these machines aren't built as rigid as more industrial type planers, but I still want to troubleshoot it and see if there's anything I can do to try to help the situation. Now when I was running some boards through here, I noticed that this table seemed to move up and down, but it was slight. I wasn't sure if my eyes were playing tricks on me, so I've rigged up this dial indicator here to see if the table actually did move while the board was going through. Now in these first few passes, I'm going to run the board through without any help at all. Alright, now I'm going to run the boards through while helping it lift it on one end to try and keep that gauge to zero as much as possible since I won't be able to see it from that side. And then when I get to the other end, I'm going to lift it on that side when the board comes out to try and keep it at zero. And that should resolve getting any snipe on the board. <laughs> Alright, so lifting both ends of the board resolved the issue of having snipe on the front end and snipe on the back end like I was getting. Which I knew it would resolve it because that's how I've been compensating all along. But I thought it was a roller issue, now I know it's a table issue. Now I would have thought that loosening the pressure on these rollers would help alleviate some of that table tipping from them pushing down the table and causing it to move. But as I said before, I've adjusted the rollers and that didn't fix anything. And just the weight of the board alone changes this quite a bit. I'm not putting much pressure on this table, but you can see right there how much movement happens when a board that's just a two by six, which really isn't that heavy, how much it will move this table. And even if I push it down and leave it, you can see it's already off by almost by four thousandths of an inch. So now specifically knowing what the issue is with this, I have ideas of what I can do to fix it, but I think what I would want to do is probably a bit of over-engineering. It's going to take a lot more time than I really need to put into it. So I would like your input as to any fixes that you have done to try and compensate for this. And uh, let's see what we can come up with. Now I know a lot of people have the lunchbox style planers where the head moves up and down. Um, and that's really kind of more of an easier fix because the, you can just add table extensions that are supported by a table or the ground and it doesn't allow the board to create torque on the machine. Now the head may move a little bit depending on what manufacturer, it depends on how much the head moves, um, but that's a completely different kind of issue to try to resolve. Um, what I would like to do is resolve the issue of a table that moves up and down and keeping it from uh, tilting forward and backwards. I'm not looking for the kind of fix where you put sacrificial boards in. I don't want to spend my time with different thicknesses of boards having to select to put through and have a lot of waste stock around that I need to have stacked up or ready to go and, and fish around through it to try and figure out what's going to work good for every time I feed a board through. This machine gets used a lot and uh, I'd rather have a machine modification type fix that will at least mostly fix the problem just to speed the process. I can get boards shot through here and move on to the next step. So any ideas you have, throw them at me and maybe uh, there's something that we can put together to get this, get a machine of this type 
um, resolved that hopefully other people can use and will help them.